Okay. Mixed with venison to go. Wild and buffalo, baby. maybe. Yo. Everyone got a pen? Just yes. Just ready to under start this. Four hard kicks to get Jeff. Whatever you know. Pretty light. Makes me sneeze. Pretty light. I'm allergic to it. Yeah, you mean, I've got all the... Don't worry about the, uh, the efficient auto style uh, definitions, it's not important. Okay. Uh, basic idea is just if you like something about well, the cigar, let us know. You. Okay. If something about it you don't like, let us know. Yeah, okay. That's the only important five. thing. Okay. Because supposedly what, what, Kim, what Kate was doing when she was doing the best sales, they weren't dated. She didn't date it. She circled them with a K. And we looked up a bunch of them, and they all had bought a new bike in 07, so we could come out there and use bike sales. So, uh, 105 you're going to add to the count, I wrote that on the note. So you're going to like cut, we didn't count are you going to do the pre-light and all that stuff together, or are you just going to let these just do it? Okay. okay. Everyone thinks it's under construction. So don't be afraid to be brutally honest, you're not going to make anyone upset. What about Jim? What made you watch that? No. I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't look like one of mine, so... Right. I don't know. What do you pull that on? Yeah, it was funny. It's still there. It's the treasure. That'll be funny, wouldn't it? That's all. Cigar key, is that the number seven? Yeah, it's going to be set up. Alright. No, you're, you're fine. You can take them. They're down there waiting for you. What do you think about the way it looks? Cigar. Anybody? It's hey, firm. Baby. Do, do, do you want to do anything? Do you want to do anything? Very firm. Very firm. Yeah. Firm and Absolutely. Baby. Very firm. Very solid. Right. Okay. Do you want to taint other people's opinions? It has a decent cap on it. Good cap. Spicy in the mouth. Very spicy. I would say it's got a nice oily sheen to the wrapper. Yeah, right. It's but the veins bad. are pretty big on it. Yeah, that's what I said. And, yeah. uh, maybe. A couple stems. It the wrapper itself is a, like maybe because of the thick, looks like a kind of a thick wrapper to me. Just the first glance. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. um, which kind of makes it, it look it like again? it's a loose roll. Uh, as far as how the wrappers apply, it's well what, what, gave, what gave you the opinion that it's loose? Well, my particular specimen, yeah. you can really see the lines where it's rolled. Oh, it's real obvious. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I think Walt has a term for that. What was that? Where you can see the wrapper uh, right there, breaks. Thank you. Right over. you have a term for that. If it looks wavy, I just call it sloppy. <laughs> Consistent. I think everybody felt the same yeah. kind of thing. It's kind of a heavier cigar, a bit veiny. What do you know the color overall? These all came out of the same bundle, so they should. They came out of the box oh. bundle. They should all look the same as far as color is concerned. Not quite the rich brown that I'm looking for. and It's kind of a light brown. Not green, but it looks a little young to me. I'm over here in the dark a little bit. Jim said yeah, yeah, it's a little yeah, oily. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I'm looking at all the oil in mine. No, I got no oil. There's some flaws with the color. But I think. It, ha it has, a, it has a, a little bit of a sheen. sheen color. Color. A, a slight sheen. Yeah. Sheen on it, yeah. Like a silky sheen. Yeah. yeah. Yours looks drier. Than but I see some, like, not splotches, but they're, like, uh, just. Like watermarks? Yeah. I got the oiliest one of the bunch. Like some coloration marks. 
Mm. Just odd spots. It's a little blotchy. Yeah. yeah now when I cut mine, there's a little bit of a hole in the end. Yeah. Yep. I got, uh, well, let's so find that strange, or do you see that in a lot of these cigars that you smoke? The hole. First Don of friends. I honestly don't pay that much <laughs> attention most of the time. <laughs> Let's see, what are you talking about? Yeah, I don't see that. No, that's just like mine. I think that was just a piece at the back where that was there at the pre-light pre -light draws open. Are we able to fire up? I guess it's okay, right? Yep, whenever you're ready. Which is a bit unexpected from... You know what, I like to do the roll test. It's a very solid type pack cigar. I like to roll it on the a flat open. surface. <clears throat> see how it rolls, it bounces. Anyone taste anything in particular before they lit it up? Spicy, spicy. in the mouth. Very spicy in the mouth. That's it. Got no spices. I don't feel that. You know, I don't get the spicy yet. Uh, really? I got a lot of spicy. Well, it could have been what, it could have been what we were snacking on or drinking before. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have any, any See, salt I had a couple of chips. I had yeah, salt, I so I don't. Any salt. Absolutely. May I borrow a cutter, please? Thank you. Was that on the was that on the pre light draw that you tasted the spice? Yeah. Or just as soon as, as, soon as, just I, on the as soon as it touched the mouth. Oh, you okay. can taste that you had, that what did you have to eat? No, it was, I don't think it was that. I mean, as soon as it touched my mouth, that was my mouth was my tongue was burnt. But if you had something, you're right. Well, there's yeah. Could have been the, the, the uh, I, I tried to splash it out with the water. Hey, what do you call the foot? What the hell's the foot? The foot's the bottom. Yeah. And you like the foot. Here. You open it. So yeah, I still I, I, I find it that. either one the smell to you know the taste Steve? very of course. earthy I, I forcey. Kind of a kind of foot. fall, leafy <laughs> yeah, I would, I would yeah, that that kind of aroma. Yeah. Yeah. A little nut to it. <clears throat> now my pre-light draw was pretty open, but, <laughs> but once I lit tightened up a little bit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, geez, so yeah but we're definitely doing that. I'm not necessarily in a bad way. No, no, I I actually I actually think in a very good way. I think my pre-light draw was more open than I like, but once I lit, it's drawing. Hey, much hey, hey, when I got hey, the, um, you? the Oasis. Nice. Yeah. What are your first impressions so far? What's in the... Decent volume of smoke. Yeah. Better taste than I expected. Good burn. Good yeah, the, bur the burn's Good nice burn. and even. Got a nice white ash on yeah, it I so gotta, far. Gotta, My burn even down. It was a little off. Yeah, it was, mine was a little off on the light. Right, it's still itself. off. It's not running or anything, but it's not evening out. But... White ash. Mild to medium taste. On the very first light, was it mild? On the bottom, this is no, first no. On the first light, it wasn't. I mean, you yeah. know, when you first lit it and took the first few puffs, it was it? Did you find it mild to medium? Or not? I found it more mild, and then it got stronger. Okay. Really, I went the other way. I thought it, I thought it was more flavorful. Nice spice. I it was right more flavorful right out of the shoot. It's gotten a little. Yeah. Tell me the price, I'll, I'll let you know more good information. <laughs> I'll say all glowing reviews. No, it's not. It is good though. That's why we don't know about the band and the price, because that affects your. Oh, your absolutely. Viewing. Oh, absolutely. Sure. Anyone get any distinct flavor yet? Yeah. Anything stand out? It's getting a little, a little bitter. Yeah, I would say it's like an herbal, a herbal kind of taste with spice. A little grass. Yeah. yeah that's what I thought. It's earthy. Yeah, that's a good word, earthy there, man. That's a flavor. So look at the flavor wheel. Where does it come? Reminisce of wet earth, but in a very good way. A gentle but full flavor with lots of natural flavors. Who's done? Did you get the pencil flint out of this? Did you get the pencil flint flavor? bitterness going on. Pencil shaving? Oh, like, wow. You didn't get leather? Oh, balls. Leather, yeah. I with leather. I'm not getting much leather. here yet. I still feel like a lot of youth. A little bit young. You? You? The youths? <laughs> but the youths are running this place. in the back of your throat? Yeah, a little bit. Now, do you, I don't feel that. I got that when I blew it out my nose, just a little. Just well, I just blow it out my nose. A little bit young, a little bit <laughs> like, like, like you could use a little age. 
Hey, Dave Gurney. That's the best I'm way. I'm still surprised at the, the density of the cigar. It's, 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 it's a heavy cigar. Yeah. Yeah. It is a heavy cigar. It's way heavy. Do I get a little bit of cedar out of it? I'm getting a little bit of a wood tone. Wood. I, can't, I get the wood. I can't. Yeah. Wood. Wood. Not something that would excite me enough to buy a box. Yeah. Well, you know, give it a chance. Yeah, I'm only, I'm only half an inch in, so. The wrapper is holding up well. I like the wrapper. Yeah, the wrapper looks good. It feels nice. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice silky texture to it. How does this compare to what you it normally smoke? Excellent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, as, as far as the flavor, as far as the construction of the cola, or what? Well, it's right on the money. You know, I'm going to smoke something more full bodied, milder, more flavor, less flavor. I usually smoke everything. <laughs> I, I, I still prefer my usual smoker over this. And it's what's your usual smoke? Padron 3000 Maduros. Acids. <laughs> Crack. Crack. I prefer crack to this. I'm just not getting the same feel after it. I don't know. I go out on a limb here and say it's not Nicaraguan tobacco. It doesn't have I'd agree that. with that. Yeah. It doesn't have that distinctive. I'd agree with that. I say, yeah. It's probably, I don't know. Could be Honduran. I don't know. I can see that. Quite strong enough for Honduran, but I'd lean that way. I can see Honduran. Yeah. I can see Honduran. Or heavy Dominican, but heavy Afghan. Yeah, heavy Dominican. Like yeah. Smotra? Yeah. Tastes like Potsdam. I don't think so. I think it's Maybe Mexican. Uh, I think it's Potsdam. It's not red <laughs> enough to be like one of those Havana 2000s. The Schuylkill River Bay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think it's a skip back. Okay. From the skip back Potsdam line. Certainly not a weak wrapper. No, it's I a great wrapper. Not, there's, no, there's no cracks in it. No, no hint of it being loose. Veins and they're a little bit ashen colored as opposed to really rich red. I should mention, Jim, that I'm enjoying this, so we should do this more often. <laughs> the tastings? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, can we uh, put the game on with no volume now? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost done. It might even be time. Really? It does produce a lot of smoke. Yeah. Good draw, effortless draw. Yeah. Not, not too loose, but... Not too loose, it's tight, but it's good. I get, I'm, it's not like I'm struggling to get smoke. It doesn't feel like a full body smoke. Pardon? I'd say it's a medium. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a medium smoke. Medium. Yeah. And I'm, I'm still not getting any bitterness. No. No. Yeah, I would not. I wouldn't call this that burn. young. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give it that. You don't get that ammonia out of it. No, you don't get not that, at all. No, tannic. I don't feel it here. It's not like bad then. Not to like that Oliva V I was smoking the other day. What do you think about the 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 rate in which it's burning? We have only been at it for a couple of minutes. It seems like it's burning fast. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. We're, we're Par for the course. Half an inch in for this time. Yeah. Puffing on it pretty hard. It doesn't get hot. Cause I think everyone's smoking this probably a little more than they would mm -hmm. if they were just sitting in casual it's company. Shown calm. But the uh, slightly uneven. The ring gauge would give you that. Not much. Right? It'd be more forgiving. Yeah, right. If you smoke it faster. Right. Just the slightest. I'd say the smoke smells pretty good. It's not overpowering. There's right. many people that are smoking here. There's no acrid. Yeah. You know. Woody. Yeah. Taste of earthy taste. What do you think, y'all? Great. It's like I'm doing my leaves. It's that flavor. I, honest to God. <laughs> it's not though what I'd call really rich. No. It's not. I'm not getting you know no. any of the coffee or chocolate flavors that I long for. That's just like me neither. And I'm not tasting dirt. No, I don't. Call so it tell it. us about Stogie Review. Uh, it's a cigar review website, obviously. Uh, there's three reviews per week. Typically, at the very least, one video. Okay. Uh, in addition to the three reviews per week, there are uh, feature articles, you know, cigar misconceptions, uh, industry news, things like that. It's a seven-day-a-week thing, every day, something new. And uh, there's three of us. That are you based around here? Yeah. 
No, there's. I'm in Pennsylvania. We've got a partner in Maryland and a partner in Georgia. Okay. It's the World Wide Web. It's, it's, it's international. Global. <laughs> 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 well, well, I, I didn't know how you found yourself uh, okay. here. Oh, this in this store? Yeah, yeah. In this store in this area. I uh, the first time I was here was uh, for an event. I don't even remember which one it was. Believe I think. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was uh, Dave's event. Yeah. But uh, come down here every once in a while. It's a great store. It's something different. Uh, it's it's different from what I get up and read. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay. Okay. I say it's a, not a dense smoke, in JP. It's very like a light smoke. Uh, can you? Yeah. A little bit. Sure. Right. I don't get yeah, the. Uh, I don't. Uh, not, not, I, don't I don't feel like it's. Uh, I'm not struggling to get smoke though. Yeah. I'm not struggling to get. I'm not. I'm not blowing nothing. As far as the heaviness is concerned, you consider it mild, medium, full body, medium, 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 medium. medium. Yeah. medium. Yeah. medium. Yeah. Anyone getting any kind of aftertaste? Yeah. Not much. No, which is nice. Uh, clean, clean. top and bottom. Yeah. I'm not feeling it. Fire department. Yeah. 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 You, you, you don't want to throw out the, the term balance, but you're not getting any straightforward in your, you know, smack you upside the head, mm -hmm. distinctive flavor, right? right? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. yeah. you smoke. A padrone, you get those distinctive flavors out of it. You smoke an opus, you can tell that's exactly what it is from the moment you light it. It's not. It's more balanced. It's not. I think it's it's not one dimensional. It's right. not one dimensional. Mon monotone. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. So yeah. Exactly. I agree with that. Yeah. It, 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 it's not. Certainly, it's not making me go. Wow! I gotta have this. I gotta buy a box of these. The construction is great. Is there yeah. anything you think it's lacking in? Depth. Yeah. There's a little more sweetness. That, yeah, there, yeah. There's, yeah, I For think he's right. There's a lot on the surface you get when you put the smoke in your mouth. You kind of mm -hmm. feel that balance, but there's it doesn't continue on. You know what I mean? I think I think depth is the way to put it. Well, Samuel's hurt. But at the same time, we're only an inch in, so. Who's your answer up on Tennessee? I'd like to see Miami take down New England as well. Dallas is good. Oh, uh, yeah. Francisco's good. Yeah, well, they should. Oh, you don't participate. You just, you just lead it. Yep. Okay. That's good. I know what it is. I didn't oh, right. Yeah. It's more objective that way, though. Because you're not really leading anybody. Yeah. You know what they're supposed to taste. Is there a Volume is actually putting that a little bit for me. Volume is fine. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's good. What do you think about the ash and the way it's burning? Good. Very good. Very consistent. Nice and white. Nice. Looks like a strong ash. ash. Yeah. It's not wanting to fall off right away, not flaking off. With the burn line, as your burn line, then good, okay. just just good. You know, it's medium. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> What's the burn line? The black, uh, the black, black line, line the between the ash and the cigar. Yeah. Uh, it's good. Basically, is you know if it's if it's real thick or real razor what? thin. Or like tight. Yeah. That What's that thin? indicative of? Why would you? I've never I looked at the burn line. Really indicates how the how the wrapper and the binder burn at the same rate or not. Oh, okay. So it should be thin. Right. I think be. thin is better. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, usually if it's thicker, it burns fun. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. if you have a really oily that's how this is wrapper, it'll affect it. Yeah. So I can see that. It's, nice, it's kind of thick. It's yeah, kind of it's thick. thick. When I draw, it's it's a nice, there's a nice thin red line the whole way around, though. It's not like it's burning hot in one okay. particular place. I like Howard that. has nice ash. <laughs> nice ash, Howard. Nice ash. Whoa, you got a nice <laughs> ash over there. Wear these jeans. <laughs> Look at my nice them jeans, boy. We wear these jeans for that effect. <laughs> All right, Norton. <laughs> there was one, one cigar I remember that had a really bad burn line. It was well, a great, great cigar, though. <laughs> but it was the Lido Gomez small batch. Oh, yeah. Or, remember? It was, it was a heavy. It was had a thick one. Did it, yeah? The wrapper was probably thick and real oily. So the, the the binder would burn underneath the wrapper, yep. and had to relight it numerous times. 
Uh, taste the dough, the flavor. Listen around. They've got a crack in the wrapper. They've got a, a, a different smell to them. A little crack in the wrapper. What's it smell like? It's harsh. It's harsh tires? smell? Yeah. Tires, did you say? No, not tires. <laughs> yeah. More like a clutch. No, uh, <laughs> <I can't smell. laughs> no it's, it's, it's a harsher smell. Is it? 42 is brilliant there. Let me struggle to catch this ball four yards behind the line of scrimmage with four guys in my face. A little bit, a little bit burning in the nose. Not much. Still medium though. Yeah. Medium is exactly how I describe the cigar in virtually every way. <laughs> okay. It's got a nice ash though. Yeah, it does. You yeah. have to give it extra points for that. Yeah. How important is it that you have? How, how how important is it for you to have an ash that holds on real tight? It's it's not flaking or flowering. Mm -hmm. Depends on how it tastes. Yeah, it tastes matter. more important than anything else. It don't matter. Hair it doesn't matter at all. It matters no, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like it. it matters it's because it's 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 the more that stays on, the more it stays lit right, between the right, puffs. Other than that, no, there's no way. I want to be fan of good construction. I like I like a good fan. I like a decent ash. I think if you if you want to call yourself a super premium. Better taste great, burn great, and yeah. all the great ash and right. all that right. stuff. Yeah, absolutely. But, but the it. cigars can taste good and the ash still fall off quickly. Uh, to, to but, me, I, but I find if, I find if the ash falls off quickly, then it might burn a little hotter, and then you start getting some off flavors in it. Right. So to me, yeah. when the ash falls off a lot, what happens is I end up with a cigar that goes out between bite, between puffs, where the ash on here holds that heat in a little bit, keeps it going the way I want it to, so I don't want it to flake off all the time. No. It adds to the pleasure of smoking the cigar. Well, we make a whole, if it's it's an overall isn't that from yeah. them being wrapped too loose? Okay. Depends on the thing. It could be they're too wet, but I, I want it to hold. That holds pretty nicely. Yeah. Yeah, when you, when you have the ash on there, all that stuff inside stays red. It stays lit in there. So it's in between. If you're not puffing it for every two minutes, yeah, it doesn't go out in between. It makes me crazy with it. Like it's yeah. So, but so there's a little bit of ash in there. It holds that heat in, keeps it going, keeps it lit. It tastes very familiar. Oh, okay. Oh, do you think that's real? <laughs> I don't know. Could be. I'll have to try that. I'll have to get really big. Pump you up with helium. Draw <laughs> really big pan. So it's a good draw. I still like the wrap. It's not feel the wrap. Feel the wrap is very really nice. Really I had to play with it a lot, and I finally got it to crack. I had to play with play around with it a lot to, to <laughs> get it to crack. Just can't tell you that. Okay. Well, my my rating is. But if I had to guess, I would say no to that question. All right. Excuse me. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Dominican. Hey, Eric, can I just get your seat? Yeah. I must have taken a seat. How are you? No. Don, 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 Don was there, but Don right, no, likes you. to walk around. Did Don With your, your Giants hat on? Oh, yeah. yeah. uh, boo, Don. Did I still have a seat? Did I still have a seat, brother? 13 to 3. Oh, we don't no, not at all. You sure? Yeah, I'm absolutely positive. Yeah, if, yes. if you want to sit down, uh, that's the other New Jersey. How is it? I just did this in New York. You know what New York they're talking about? The Jets. I'm just trying to make fun of me, that's all. J-U-G-H, Jet, Jet, Jet! Let's bring back the New York Sack. Uh, oh, holding on us! That's bad. Processing oh, they didn't call it. <laughs> How do you not call holding on I'm that play? Like, oh my god. Cobb's right. in! Do right? yeah. think anything's building as you're getting shorter? More flavor, more body? Not yet. Here. No. Same old. Same thing. Pretty consistent throughout. I think it settled down some. Second, third, fourth. Yeah. No. Don't do it. No. What? See, if I was bringing the glass of water, yes. it was like I like did it. Yeah. I would be kidding. Right, it would overpower the shark. You have yeah. to be very mm -hmm. careful what you drink with it. Yeah. What do you think would go with it? Well, I usually drink port, and I wouldn't be able to taste anything yeah. if I was drinking port. Water. <laughs> like a light beer. No, yeah, it yeah, has to be something light. It has to be something very, very light. I could drink coffee with what this. Kind of like? I could drink coffee with this. I think it was port. I think the sweetness of the coffee would come with the cigar. I don't, I don't get sweetness from the cigar. I feel some Australian. And then so we're doing things to it. Okay. Okay. Really, really. Okay.
the gun at the hotel. Oh, I guess. It's good. I guess I had to go out of my way. Yeah, like Forty dollar range here. No, I can't even imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Like at the hotel. Oh, yeah. If everyone came, yeah, a couple of sips or something. Yeah, yeah. five would go to the Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, right now, I didn't uh, change. What do you think? Five would stay at the Six dollars. Seventy-five. So I need eleven right now. Yo, you got my lighter, man. Oh, I thought this was like you know. Which is why it's hard to get me off my four dollar and change. It's black like a shirt. So if you had to put the cigar out right now, what do you what do you think you'd feel comfortable paying for it? What is it worth to you? If it didn't change at all. If it didn't change if, if this is what I got the whole way through? It's about five bucks. Five bucks. Yeah. I think it's like four fifty. Yeah. yeah. A good bu like uh, it's a little better than a good bundle. Yeah. Yeah. Like a Lagunica type or just a little bit better. The low four range. Yeah. I had to get no spice. Yeah. It's I the same thing. Yeah. It's a bundle. Yeah. yeah, definitely it's a good bundle. That's the, yeah. yeah, you go five and you go six, then you start getting Yeah, depending on. Yeah. 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 Leaves. Yeah. That's one of If it's banded and boxed, it's five, it's in a bundle, it's yeah. four and a quarter. Yeah. The that you gave right? Something like that. Yeah. That looks for trouble. Yeah. See, that's the thing. When I get the five seventy-five, I got the bundle of seventy-five. But the flavors, you know, just remind me of like a good bundle. So what happened right now? Exactly. Yeah. 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 How important is change to you? Is change? Well, yeah, do, do you like a one-dimensional cigar yeah, that, that doesn't change yeah. up much? Do you want a lot of changes right? throughout? Yeah. yeah. A couple? I, 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 some I, I, complexity. Complexity is a good thing. You know, if I smoke something that just doesn't change that much through the body of the cigar, you know, I, I personally find that some things don't change. A whole lot over the course of the cigar. If I really like the flavor, that's fine. Yeah. Right. You know, exactly. Some, yeah. Some, that I don't find that a 26 changes that much on my exactly. palate. I don't find that a, that an Opus changes that much on my palate. But I like the flavor, so if it stays that way the whole time, then I'm right. fine with it. Right. Yeah, I yeah, agree. It but if, yeah. if it's something different, like when we're canning around something, and all of a sudden it comes to the spot to hit you with something different, Bam. and it makes you want to stay with it to see what yeah. the next thing is going to be. It's just not a memorable cigar. Like the flavor's not a memorable right. flavor. It's, you know a, I mean? it's a very generic blend. I don't want to say yeah, it's it's a, sort of. Are there any aspects of the smoke blended. that you like uh, or dislike? No. It's just nothing offensive, nothing spectacular. Say it. It's not one that. Should be good for a beginner. Steve, you were smoking something the other night that you put out. out because it was. Yeah. Right. Killing you. Horrible. Right. right. But I wouldn't put this either. I would no, finish no. it. Not a waste. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Absolutely not. But maybe the surprise is that it's halfway. Did still, they get it? Still under halfway. So maybe there'll be something there. It's going to be close. I think you're going to give it to me. This might be one of those cigars that might pick up the the palate of the food you're eating. Something, if you had something sweet to eat with it, it might be better. A cup of coffee that's or cause, That's because it is medium or on the lower side right. of medium, so it's going to be heavily influenced by what you right. drink with it. I'm, I'm, I feel like I want to have something to eat with it. Or but you have to be careful because it would overpower. It could overpower. <laughs> what do you think you'd have for dinner if you were going to follow it with this cigar? Seafood, yeah. yeah. Seafood, yeah. Crab fries. Yeah. Yeah. Crab fr no, not yeah. crab fries. <laughs> <laughs> crab beer, man. Crab beer. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, something like seafood that you know, more than dirty taste. You didn't get seafood. that. No, I don't know. Because it would. I don't think I follow seafood left. with any cigar. Maybe a no, if, if you would eat. Oh, ball. What Ball's you would out. Eat after you smoke this. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't mix good with like red meats. No, no. it would not go well. Like chicken, seafood, stuff like that. Milder, milder. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I follow a cigar. Yeah. Yeah. Do you manufacture these? No. No. I don't even sell them. Oh. <laughs> he's neither manufactures or sells cigars. He's from the cigar press. The cigar press. Yes. Not the magazine. So Stogie Review is it not the affiliated magazine. or sponsored by any? No. He's a member of the press. Yep. <laughs> hey, what's your press Stogie Review. <laughs> so what's Review. with this economy? Construction is. The construction is actually yeah. yeah. great burn. Great yeah, consistent. Yeah, I knew that. I, I squeezed it and played with it a lot and got the record wrapper to crack, but I mean, I had to abuse the cigar to do that. Jim, you get any quarter stacking over there? 
can't fully equip in it. So Any ring stacking? <laughs> All you want. What the hell did they do there? Yeah, they no. sacked the quarterback, he dropped the ball, and the Eagles guy couldn't even. Really could have the hell up. Yep. Teach your football or your fall. Right. It's Cover a thin the wrapper to be as velvety as it is. <clears throat> is the cigar changing for anybody? No, no, no. Not at all. It's going to swallow. Yeah, he ball. should just fall on that ball. <laughs> Jim, what do you look for when you're thinking about bringing a cigar in? I mean, what, what qualities would this cigar have to have for you to bring it in? It well, sells well. 100% <laughs> margin. How many facings do you have to buy? <laughs> a rough that washes my car. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Funny, funny. Haha. Ha. That's a great question. Uh, well, you know, I have a pretty good selection right now, so anything I bring in has got to be a great value, first of all, to get, eight, some, to get something else off the shelf. I mean, why, why am I going to remove something else off? That's the question. It's got to be, it's got to be a better, it's got to be a better, right, it's got to be a better, better value, and it's, it's got to be something that's distinctive, and uh, it's got to impress me, flavor-wise, construction, appearance. Give this high marks for construction, although the bands yeah. are a little bit annoying. But it burns well, it's made well. It's I don't care if the it. guy. I the don't care. Led to any cracking I don't care if the guy has stern, tattoos so or if he's got stories to tell or any of that stuff. You know, that doesn't doesn't impress me. Why would someone want to buy it? I would guess would be your your main consideration. Yeah, Why would someone want to buy it? There's a lot of the new, of the new brands. You know, everybody's big, come in. They have a big story to tell, or they have a they have a strange persona or whatever. Right. You know, it's all about the persona, and the lifestyle, and blah blah blah. <laughs> uh, you don't have to have a director of lifestyle management, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> lifestyle <laughs> management, or whatever lifestyle, uh, whatever. <laughs> Somebody might know who I'm talking about there. Director of lifestyle, something. What is it? What is it? I don't know what that last word. Yeah, you know I, what I'm talking exactly about. What about. <laughs> to me, the acid test is, is always going to be: is it is it better than a than a four dollar Padron three thousand? That to me is the best value in cigars that I've found. So that's, yeah, that's a benchmark. For that's the benchmark to me. It made there. me want to move off of that because that's that's costing me four dollars a stick. Which one? Put your own three thousand Maduros. Yeah. Four dollars a stick. What's gonna bait that? I'll tell you that the Padron that I've ever had has been the best I've ever had. It, dep it depends. And then on probably your the second one is, is yours. Yeah. Another the good one for the good price one. is the Grand Habanos. I wouldn't go out, out of my way to buy it. Like this. Like the Grand Habanos <laughs> Grow number five. What do they go for? I mean, some some of the tolls are three bucks, right. four bucks, or Superb for that price. Which ones? I, the, uh, Grand Habanos, uh, the Corojo series. I find those to be, you know, if I want just kind of a straightforward, easy going smoke for the price. What do you think about the finish? Make it feel dry, taste creamy? I wouldn't say creamy. Dry would be more of the answer, maybe yeah. a little. I would actually say. A little dry, but a little lacking. I think it just yeah. doesn't have a lot on the back end. Yeah. I would say it's kind of down the middle. Yeah, because it's not dry to me. And it's, it's not a powdery smoke. Right. No. No. It's not chalky. No. <clears throat> Is there anything you smoked that you think this would be comparable to? Quistere. <laughs> Aren't you a Giants fan? I'm going to take a wild guess. Aren't you a Giants fan? Uh, uh, Jose oh, okay. Blanco. You're forgiven then. <laughs> but I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Take a guess. Yeah. I got to say the construction is definitely a good thing. Yeah. I'd say above average construction. Yeah, I agree. With the cigar. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yep. How sad is that? That has to be above average. <laughs> I think it's good construction. 
good. It's good construction. I have to. Oh, what you're yeah. veining is yeah. not something attracted it's, it's well, by, but so, the construction so, with you know, the hit, It could be hit or miss. I mean, I've had really good brand cigars that have had just below average construction. Right. And it's a letdown. It shouldn't right. be that way. It's, uh, just the right firmness. Give it that all, all yeah. day long. Mm, it doesn't burn out at all. just needs yeah. more flavor. Burns well. It needs more flavor. A little light on the layer for you. Yeah. And I'm usually not a big, I don't need a whole lot of that, but I need right. some. You're a Davidoff fan. Yeah. yeah. It's not Macanudo bland, but it's not, I would call it flavorful as well. Well, if you prefer Nicaragua, it's right. maybe not your, your cup of tea. I, I, I guess Dominican. You might guess. Could be. Somebody obviously likes the flavor as they blend it, blend it into right. things like this. Sure, no, I agree. That's everything's everything seen through the eyes of your own. There's really not a right or wrong right. flavor no. profile. Right. It's just different. Everyone, everything seen through the eyes of your own experience. I think everyone's yeah. getting the same thing out of it. I mean, if that's a cigar you like, and you go to the box, you know what you're going to get. And I think that's a big thing too, right? If, if you like a cigar, you have the confidence that if you're going to go buy that cigar, it's going to perform exactly how you want it to. Well, are there any cigars that the, you know the, ma the majority seems to like and you just don't, or, or vice versa? Or something that no one likes, but for some reason you do, you just love it. I like that one, but they're you know that's that's a lighter cigar. I think most people the trend is toward the heavier ones. I don't I don't care. I honestly don't care. Well, I can't say they're bad, but if I had to, for as often as I smoke, if I had to go pick something out, I probably put wouldn't pull out a Hemingway. I don't care for. Overall, I generally don't care for Cameroon wrappers. That's just my preference. I, I smoke the, you know, the seasonal ones with the broad leaf on them, but, you know, I, I think those are very popular, but I don't, I generally don't reach for one. Not that they're bad, they're just not my like company. Right. Yeah, I don't think I'd reach for a Hoyo. Uh, Hondo and Hoyo, despite their popularity. Most things by general. Yeah. <laughs> no offense to anybody here. I don't reach for Ashton's. I don't like Ashton's. Yeah. The lighter yeah, yeah. Ashton's. The lighter yeah. Ashton's are, are a fine fine. Sunday morning smoke, but that's the only place I'd put them. Put them in the same kind of category as a, uh, a slightly more complex Macanudo. Really light Sunday morning cigar. Now, the DSG's maybe, but. Where do you think this fits in your day? This morning, afternoon, afternoon, yeah. afternoon, outside the yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. outside yeah. the yard. Yeah, morning. But, uh, morning. And, and if you're going to have more than one, it has to be obvious, it has to be the first, right? It's light. Yeah, yeah. It would be overpowered as a second. For me, this is so light, I could smoke this on an empty stomach yeah, right. at 9 o'clock right. in the morning. Yep, yep, absolutely. I agree. With a yep. cup of coffee. Oh. Coffee would help us. The Co bourbon coffee, coffee would go good. Okay. The bourbon, the sweetness of the bourbon is helping us, actually. You should have any more. He's helping us out. I want one now. Here. Here, Paul. See, the, the beer is just working all the time. It's building demand. Yeah. Oh, you got to get a little wet. Yeah. Just okay. Pop in here. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's a nice little tobacco taste. Nothing to it if you want to show it. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. In what situation do you think you'd smoke this cigar? While you're reading a Sunday paper with coffee, while you're preoccupied, working outside in the yard? Yeah. I'd leave that way. Yeah. Yeah. When smoking... It's outside. <laughs> yeah. But it's not the main focus of the right. event. And I'm not yes. sitting there just to enjoy a good cigar, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not with a hooker on Saturday night? <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be the first cigar you pull out of the humor, like, with anticipation. I would be the first cigar you pull out of the humor. Sorry, Howie. If I did, it might be the first cigar you pull out of the humor, and I was not sure if I'm going to be able to finish it or enjoy right. it. It's a poker game cigar. puff a little bit before I got someplace. Yeah. If I was going to sit yeah. down in Vegas with a nice uh, single malt and, and sit at the, at the bar, or, or a cognac, excuse me, I, I would reach for something else. You don't have to worry about it, like the lighting, relighting. It seems to have consistent qualities of it where quick, 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 you don't have to really sit there and you know worry about pairing a food with it or a certain flavor profile. Mm -hmm. It could probably blend with most things. You know, maybe not complement, but it would blend. 
Yeah, I, th I think the point when it's not the focus is a good thing because yeah, you know, you're, you're, not good sitting down, you're not sitting down for the enjoyment of an in your face and, and so focus on the cigar. But at the same time, you don't have to worry about the construction. No, good. Right. You, don't, you don't have to yeah, always right. be tending to it. So yeah. so I figured when I don't touch it, taste it. How important is, is the brand to you? Slunch it. Would, would you, do you think any higher of this if it were some boutique brand that you never heard of? Not really. No. no. I don't buy. I don't buy bands. I mean, there's certain marks to give to presentation, but it's and not the end all be all for no. purchasing. As far as presentation, I think this is a fine cigar. It's well made. It looks good. It, it smokes well. That's not the issue. I've had, band, I've had cigars before without bands, and pretty much you just you know the cedar boxes that are just as good as right. taste, flavor, uh, construction as ones with pretty packaging. So yeah, a lot, and a lot of those ones with pretty packaging, and not to rip on any brand in point. particular, but right. you see that? things like the yeah. CAO Vision. Right. CAO is notorious. For that. Wouldn't do it. Right. Box lights up, stuff like that. Yeah, the cigars yeah. yeah. Uh, they were horrible. If I want a really heavy cigar, I'll smoke an El Rico Habana. Again, another under four dollar cigar that's I think grossly underrated. Uh, the the uh, the Padrones, and if I really want to spend some money on a cigar, I'll smoke an Anniversario or an Opus X. But not because of the band, because I've looked for that flavor for a long time. Was there any one particular cigar you, you simply won't buy because it's too over the top? Like you mentioned, Great Collision. I, I will buy the vision not because the presentation is over the top because I don't like the cigar. You, you know, you can't sell me on a pretty box. So you'll plunk the money down and try it once. I'll, I'll, I'll try anything once. Okay. Uh, Great Cliff is one. Great Cliff. Yeah. Great Cliff is overpriced. Like. Not something I'd ever buy twice. Yeah, no, I won't buy. Gurkha. Same thing. Gurkha, same thing. Yeah. same thing with Gurkha. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'll try anything. I'll, a one. Same crystal. See, I like the San Cristobal. Yeah. I even think Camacho to some degree, although they've gotten it's better, really good, but they're still inconsistent. Depends which Camacho, yeah. Right. I mean, the the cheap like, Camachos like I actually like better the than the expensive ones. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. No, you're agree with that. Yeah. Monarch, I think it's just overrated to acid. Okay. I would put this in line with like a pride of stock. Yeah. You know? statement. A well-made. Are we all smoking the same cigar? No, I mean, as far as, not not, not <laughs> way, uh, uh, <laughs> I haven't heard from you, what do you think? I don't think it tastes like a private stock. No, I mean with the construction and the, oh, oh, the okay. characteristics of it, not the flavor. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, the characteristics, and they're consistent, they're, you know, um, you don't really have to concentrate on it. It's inoffensive. I'll yeah. say that, it's completely inoffensive. Yeah, it's not something I'd worry it's about it's serving to somebody. Yeah. Either. I wouldn't give it to somebody and say, oh, it's 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 No, it's yes, just a good cigar. Absolutely. It's not just something I'd be excited about. Who would you be Who would you be most likely to give it to? Someone that's new to cigars, someone that's been smoking for years? Anyone. Wouldn't it matter? Something newer than that rather than years. I don't think I'd go to somebody who's been smoking cigars for years and say, you've got to try this. Right. But I also wouldn't give it to someone, if I was smoking with someone who has been smoking for years and we're sitting in the yard on a summer night, I wouldn't worry about giving it to him and saying, and having him look at me like I was an idiot. Right. If somebody likes... It all depends on this, I think again, it all depends on the situation. You have a dinner, you're sitting around after the dinner, I wouldn't pass this out, I think it's going to be overpowered. I would say if somebody says they prefer a drier taste, mm -hmm. I would say mm -hmm. give this a try, sweet. tell me what you think of it. Could it be a Corojo wrapper? I don't know. It doesn't have enough. I don't think it has it's enough reddish enough. Yeah, I don't think it's probably not reddish enough. Yeah, 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 no. Okay. No. Okay. Maybe. But I'm gonna guess it's an Ecuador wrapper. But just okay. That was my first guess. You know, I said I said the Ecuador, but I didn't think it had enough on on the flavor profile. I didn't think it had enough of that earthiness, that depth to it that you usually get out of a Ecuador. By the way, a sitting around like this reminds. Is everyone here seen the movie Rounders? Sure. That scene where they're playing poker in the yeah, cigar yeah. place. Like, I get a lot of earthiness and nuttiness, and they're they're completely mocking us. And yeah, I, I got the I got the wheel. It's, it's an earthy, nutty kind of thing. It's good enough to win the high and the low. It's all funny. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, what kind of beer would you drink today? Well, I would probably uh, drink a lager, Mexican something that has a little bit more crisp to it. I think if you do an ale. Killian's a multi, red. A maltiness might overpower it. 
I would, I would think I would probably go with something, a log or something cold fermented. I'm thinking like a bitter stout. Mm. See? Wow. Yeah. You could do that. You could take a stout with it, but again, it would depend on the stout. If you get a really rich stout, I think it would overpower it. I think if you yeah. get a lot of chocolate and a lot of coffee. No, no, no. Just in the stout. traditional. Yeah. Stout. yeah. I'd be worried about bitterness. I think the bitterness would exacerbate the, the cigar a little bit and not make it. But a good stout, uh, 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 a Murphy's. The body thing would be good. Creamy, mm -hmm. yeah. medium, light, medium. I'd, go, I'd lean toward Achilles Red. Yeah. <laughs> Something a little sweet. I have a nice Irish Red on tap right now. Which would have been in your growler had you remembered <laughs> to bring it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna FedEx it to you. <laughs> I'm gonna show up with my front porch. <laughs> it's gonna be their overnight delivery. I'm gonna have to pay $20 to get You're it. You're gonna share at the end of this whole thing who this is, right? Yeah, yeah. you will. Alright. It's an Opus X, I already know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> if it's an Opus X, I worry about their tobacco choices. That's For a wrapper. Is the taste changing for anyone? It more or less the same. Just uh, a little bit we picked up a little bit. Are you from yeah. Skipet? A little bit more. Are you from Skipet? Uh, Lance, uh, Upper Quinn. So how do you guys decide on what cigars you're going to smoke? You just base your opinions on friends and family. You just pick something off the shelf, read Try it reviews all. and I, magazines. I know what I like. Yeah. So I if I, yeah. I, I don't smoke that often. Maybe yeah. once, maybe twice a week, depending on in the winter less, summer more. So. If I'm only going to have one cigar, and I know it's going to be a while, I'll probably pull something good out of the humidor uh, that I a, a standby, something I know I like. Um, I'm always asking, asking Jim what's new, what came out of our TTA. You know, I'm always willing to try something once. Um, so you just kind of establish, smoke everything, and figure out what you like, and go from there. You mentioned RTDA. Anything come out of there this year that you thought was stellar? You know, and it has 300. Yeah, 300. I smoke, no, yeah. What's, that was the, what's the new Rocky with the... Um, there's a couple of them. Yeah, a couple, yeah there's like five <laughs> new ones every year, right? But I smoked a couple of the new ones, and yeah, I didn't... I just didn't really care for them, to tell you the truth. Um, that's about the only thing I saw. Got, there's the, the Macanindo. The eye press? The eye press. press. Yeah, the eye press. Yeah, yeah, I didn't smell those yet. But, yeah. I had one of those 68s. Uh, no, they're, they're, no, they're, they're just showing all Donovan's fine. What do you think of the other end of the spectrum? Anything come out of the show that was just awful? I haven't smoked really that much. Like, you know, I, I honestly haven't smoked that much new stuff. I, I did try one that was just horrible. It was uh, a two, two old one. Yeah. Uh, it was a Redemption by El Titan Big Bronze. Oh, really uh, I thought it was horrible. But I only had one, so. Did you notice the cellophane on that? Yours have a hole punch in it? My sample had a hole punch in it. No, I, I don't think it did. Maybe a little beetle meditation comes? Big, big, big beetle. This year? Oh, it was a big hole? No, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was yeah, a yeah. big hole. Oh, hole punch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be a big yeah. beetle. We're still getting nice smoke production. I think it's, yeah, it uh, burns all the way to the end very nicely. Yeah. And it heat up either. No, I don't know. And, 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 and nice. I'm smoking it yeah. a lot faster. No, and I just tried to right? make it heat up. I mean, yeah, I yeah. just went at it real good, and it's still. And it, it hasn't up. gotten loose or right. spongy. Still remained, yeah. you know, as it was in the first third. Yeah. 